from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and, while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. U.S. diplomats are suffering hearing loss after being targeted with some sort of sonic weapon in Cuba. Sonic weapon? I wasn't aware that Cuban military had any advanced modern technology more sophisticated than their toaster's bagel setting. In Amsterdam, an ad for an apartment was ridiculed and mocked because it said anyone renting it could not use the kitchen. The $1,300 a month apartment is tiny, and the ad claimed cooking in the kitchen was, quote, not allowed due to regulations, unquote. You know, I, I was once told that I couldn't cook in my apartment's kitchen, but they said it was because of my cooking. It would violate the health code. The White House is undergoing a $3.4 million renovation. And if that includes Twitter blocking technology, I say it's worth it. Cappuccino Twinkies are coming soon to a store near you. You can have your cake and drink it too! No, no wait, no, actually, um, uh, reverse that. You can have your coffee and eat it too. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Public Library in North Bend, Oregon is offering a class called Adulting 101 – Basic How-Tos for Ages 16 to 25, with topics ranging from personal finance and job hunting to cooking and handiwork. You definitely know that you're in need of the adulting class if you're 25 years old and your parents have signed you up for it. In Englewood, Florida, a guy was tired of his wife and kid complaining about the rats making all that noise in the attic. For years this went on. It turns out it was a giant boa constrictor that had taken up residence there. One bonus, though, they knew who to thank for taking care of that rat problem. A New York University sample of 66 New York City ATMs found their keypads to be teeming with bacteria. Luckily, though, most are harmless types that thrive on skin and home surfaces. No, the real evildoers are inside the ATMs. The researchers say the cash the machines spit out is rife with more than 3,000 types of bacteria. Many are linked to acne, but some are deadly antibiotic-resistant strains. So consider your hands tainted after you withdraw and wash them after touching the cash. See, now this is why we need money laundering. Police arrested a man near Tacoma who was acting agitated and allegedly was huffing 50 to 75 cans of whipped cream a day to get high. Can you imagine the calorie count? Research increasingly shows that sugar substitutes fail to do their job that is, prevent obesity and diabetes, says Mass General Hospital's Richard Hoden, M.D. Case in point, Hoden's latest study found that in the stomach, aspartame actually blocks an intestinal enzyme that helps protect us from gaining weight. And it's not just aspartame. Multiple studies show that across the board, sugar substitutes tend to promote obesity, plump up belly fat, and basically keep you fat. Hoden's advice? Stick with water which doesn't taste too bad if you add Splenda. Rochester-area television news anchor Don Alhart holds the record for longest-running local TV news anchor in the world at the same station in the same market. He's in his 51st year at the same television station. He's been in the business so long, he even remembers back far enough when they used to report real news. Over 100,000 people have applied for a one-way trip to colonize Mars in the year 2022. You know, if half of those are named Kardashian, I'll donate to help pay for that trip. There is a gym in Atlanta, the EAV Barbell Club, that has a no-cops policy. Police are not allowed to join. Let's hope they're not robbed in the near future. That could be awkward when they call 911. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Anywhere and anything can be haunted, and many people from all walks of life experience strange things in surprising locations. As you'll discover, the prettiest of places, the most innocent of places, and the most unexpected places can be filled with supernatural forces and pure demonic malevolence. 
haunted places, churches, hospitals, forests, the workplace, and more. Horrifying true tales of ghosts, demons, poltergeists, and the paranormal. Come and be chilled by people's creepy experiences with the supernatural in ordinary, everyday places. Warning: Listening to this book may increase nervousness. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at MarlarHouse.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!